Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues. It's been uh, kind of uh, nice having a nice batch of videos for quite a while that I had filmed. And uh, once I had uh, gotten sick this uh, past week, I started burning through some of the videos that I had shot for Batman the Animated Series. And I uh, started running out of them. So this is the first set of uh, videos that I've had a chance to shoot after my first initial batch of videos. So a lot of these videos that you have seen, I took like a whole Saturday and just filmed like eight or nine or ten videos, just boom, 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 all in one shot. So it was kind of nice when I was sick, I was still able to upload uh, some videos without having to reshoot videos. I think that's how a lot of us film a lot of our reviews. We just kind of do them all in one batch. So today that you will actually see this video posted is the day I'm actually shooting this video, which today I believe is Wednesday. So uh, this is going to be one of the first uh, set of videos again back in Batman the Animated Series. And I've got a couple others that you've been seeing kind of getting uh, interwoven in between. So I thought I would do a fun little figure to kind of start the Batman Animated Series off again on the right foot if you will. And this is the Bruce Wayne figure. And you may be asking yourself, Rob, it looks more like Batman than it does Bruce Wayne. Well, this is one of those figures that Kenner would give to us every now and then was the change into Batman or the change into, you know, whomever the figure generally would be. And normally it would be obviously Batman. But this line does have a very special exception for this reviewer that we'll get to after this guy. So, uh, uh, these uh, Bruce Wayne into Batman or Batman into Bruce Wayne figures, um, however you want to call them, uh, we usually have normally received these through the movie figures where you get the Michael Keaton, you know, looking action figure that you could put all the Batman pieces to or the Val Kilmer or George Clooney or whomever uh, that actor might be uh, where you get it, put him into the Batman outfit. The Batman usually looks pretty weird as you're trying to put these pieces on the Bruce Wayne figure. And I wish they would just generally just release a Bruce Wayne figure. Don't worry about all of the, you know, let's change him into Batman or make some type of a weird armor for the Bruce Wayne figure to wear. They generally look a little funny. Um, and it's just, I always like just having the Bruce Wayne looking figure. But as you can tell, this is a armored, suited looking type of a Batman with some uh, weird Batarang ray gun type thing. A nice little gadget accessory. Um, here is the full version of the Bruce Wayne figure in his Batman attire. Hopefully the camera can zoom in. As you can tell, he does kind of look a little weird Looks like he's wearing an oversized helmet. Doesn't <laughs> necessarily... It looks like Batman, but it's kind of uh, funny in how it is. You can obviously see the red underneath here. So all of these gray armored tight pieces do come off. He you know, is sporting his cape. So the articulation of the head when you have him as Batman is really kind of odd and weird. He could still move all the normal joints, the five standard points, but the head really doesn't move. So we'll just take the armored pieces off here. So as you can see, the legs are mostly gray. You just have this armored leg here, armored leg here, armored shoulder piece, armored shoulder piece the chest is one separate piece as well so that comes off and then of course you have the cowl oh my gosh Bruce Wayne is Batman so there is the Bruce Wayne figure so when I had him standing up and around Wayne Manor it looked really cool Excuse me, to have him like that as the uh, sinuses are still bothering me a little bit. 
So there is the Bruce Wayne figure, and every once in a while I may have him in the Batcave or he'd be kind of holding. I thought it always looked kind of cool holding on to the cowl or, you know, something of that manner, kind of like that, in and around the Batcave. But this is not the only Bruce Wayne action figure that I have. And in a few times during this review, you will see me bring up a second figure. Um, not that I'm trying to chintz out on doing reviews, but it's essentially going to be the same figure. Now, this figure came with the Bruce Wayne uh, car. Bruce Wayne uh, Dragster, or Bruce Wayne Roadster. Or I can't exactly remember what the vehicle was called. I do not own the vehicle. So you may be asking yourself, well, Rob, how did you get a hold of this Bruce Wayne? Well, I worked at Walmart back in 1994, shortly after graduating high school. I graduated in 93, not that you need to know that, but uh, about a year later, I started working at Walmart and worked in electronics and filled in for the toy, uh, the toy aisle every now and then. And uh, they had a whole set of damaged uh, Batman animated series action figures that they were uh, sending out back to the manufacturer or whatever happened. Well, this Bruce Wayne ended up laying on the floor when they were sweeping up at one night. He ended up in the trash can. So I dug him out of the trash can and asked uh, one of the night managers that was there, so I didn't get accused of stealing the figure, I said, hey, this figure ended up in the uh, trash can. Was it supposed to be shipped out with the rest of stuff that was um, damaged? And he said, yeah, I think it probably was, but we've already sent that out. He said, so you could just, you know, throw it away. And I said, well, do you mind if I keep him? I said, I'm a, a Batman fan and, uh, you know, I, I collect action figures. And he was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I don't care. So that's how I actually got this Bruce Wayne figure. So it was kind of cool to be able to have two Bruce Waynes. If I got tired of seeing him in the red, I could just have him in the yellow. And of course, it's, it's the same figure. So all of these same pieces do fit on him. So we'll just put him back together in reverse so you can kind of see how all of this works. So these figures, again, I always thought were a little... a little chintzy once you started putting all of the armored pieces on the figure. I can do this here. And I actually think the yellow that does show through does look a little bit better than the original red Bruce Wayne. But did I ever really have this Batman dressed like this very often? No, not really. I generally had him as the Bruce Wayne figure. And uh, once we get inside of Wayne Manor, you can kind of see what I used to do with the Bruce Wayne figure and all that type of stuff. So this has been a look at the Bruce Wayne action figure, as it was called. It wasn't called your Bruce Wayne to Batman or Bruce Wayne armored figure. It was just listed as Bruce Wayne. So I thought that was really pretty cool. Um, the Bruce Wayne figure is a little bit shorter than the Batman figure. So I always thought that was kind of funny. I would have assumed that Bruce Wayne should be as tall as Batman, but you can kind of... Uh, it, I always just assume, well, Bruce Wayne hunches a little bit so he's not standing as tall as Batman would. So this has been a look at the Bruce Wayne action figure and the Bruce Wayne action figure from the car that I do not own that I basically got a free figure so that I didn't pay for. So that's always good when you can score a free action figure. So as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogue signing off saying we will see you guys next time.